Hello friends, today we are going to learn how to compile a Java file using GraalVM JDK. GraalVM is a polyglot JDK developed by Oracle Corporation. You can download it from this link by going to graalvm.org. One of the main feature of GraalVM is that it is a polyglot JDK or polyglot virtual machine in which means that it can it is able to run programs written in various languages like Java, JavaScript, Python, Ruby, and R. Another thing about GraalVM is that it can create native images. That means that instead of compiling the Java file into a bytecode, it can compile it directly into an ex executable file for Windows platform or a binary file for the Linux platform. You can download it by clicking the link here you can see and this comes within two versions GraalVM Community and GraalVM Enterprise and I will be using this one Community Edition which you can download by pressing the download button I have already downloaded the file you can see it right here the location is in the drive edge GraalVM if you open it you can see that inside the bin directory all the I mean in the, all the executable file like java.exe and java ac .e, java compiler are all inside this one similar to the jdk of the oracle now we will compile a couple of files so i have created a test folder right here and i have put three main java files here and the main file is the jane j main entry dot java file this file contains the main function and it's going to uh, create a object called serial and it will open it and these two classes dbaccess.java and serial.java dummy classes which are used to just to uh, for this tutorial only it doesn't do anything except it will print some line like that serial port opened serial port closed etc so first we'll compile it we will open the command line option and navigate to our drive directory The thing is that I haven't have not inc I have not included the location of the GraalVM Java compiler in the path variable because I already have JDK installed and I don't want to mess it up. So we will be using the full path. That means that we'll have to use H GraalVM bin slash java c so we can copy it and here we will just paste it slash java c and then we will compile the j main entry dot java So you can see that by compiling the main entry it has created the class file for all the other three files now we are going to run this thing and 
and that's it that's how you compile and run a java file using graal vm now you can see from here that you all our class files are in the same directory as the source files so we can use that minus d flag to tell the compiler where we want to store the compiled class files so you can do something like that you can create another folder new folder class and then we want we will come keep all the class files inside this directory so for that purpose we will compile it using java c then we will use the d flag hyphen d dot slash and then the name of the class directory by using this d flag all the compiled file will be in this location you have to use dot slash class then press enter as you can see that all the compiled class files are in the test slash class folder now we have stored all our classes in the class folder inside the test directory uh, we can't use the java j main entry uh, to run the our program because the jvm will not be able to find the class file containing the main function so we have to use the class path variable to tell word to search for the uh, class file containing the main function function so you can use the min hyphen cp then the location which location where we want to search the um, class containing the main function so you can go for dot backward slash directory name that is class here then the name of the class file containing the main function which is here j main entry then you can press enter and it will work like that so we can see that our source codes are inside the test folder now we have three source codes now let's say we can organize that source codes into a separate folder so that the whole setup will look clean so i'm going to create a new folder and name it as source and i will move my, all my source code into this particular folder like this now we are going to compile the source codes inside this particular folder so now our directory structure is like this I'm going to use the tree command so we have two uh, sub directories inside the test directory and all our source codes are inside the source directory now we want to uh, compile the codes in the source directory and want to store the resulting class files in the dot class i mean the class folder so we will use the java c command and we will use the minus d i mean hyphen d dot slash class so that all the compiled classes will come inside the class folder and now we have to give the give where the source codes are so that for that we have to give it like this dot slash source star dot java we are telling the compiler to compile all the java files inside the source folder like this now we press the enter button and wait now all the source codes are in this particular folder and the class files are all here now i have told you how to compile java files using the graal vm java development kit the same commands can be used for the uh, java development kit from oracle also and you can download all the source codes from our site 
and you can find the source codes here and you can download the zip files so if you like our content please give us a like and do subscribe if you like this type of command this type of content thank you for watching